Right, this is a flat I should be taking tenancy of today. Well, I have, first day. Uh, I got the keys, come for a viewing. So, a few things were pointed out, staining on the ceiling there, like someone's, I don't know, I thought it was a repair at first. Uh, over here by the ceiling rose, you can see the same same type of thing. And I'll show you the walls. Same issue. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I got the keys, and I thought, right, I'll come in. I stripped this wall. This had wallpaper on this large wall here. I stripped it back. Uh, stripped all the wallpaper, rubbed it all down, that wall's fine. But the rest is uh, a bit of an issue. Uh, I tried to clean this stain up here, and it wasn't budging. And as soon as I went off the stain, onto the, the other side of the ceiling, where it was sort of unmarked, it started to mark the same as this. Uh, and I noticed this dust. I could see a layer of dust on the ceiling. So I went round and I was wiping it up and the clots was coming off black. Uh, I'll show you the clots now. I've washed these and these were new clots. You can see I've washed them and they're still black. Now I know we all have to clean and all that before we start painting, but I can't do nothing here. Uh, this cleaning job is beyond me. And I'll show you in a minute the other rooms. But I wiped all this last night as uh, with dry clots, all the dust. And uh, I was coughing all night in bed. Uh, chest is tight, coughing up rubbish and all that. So I think there's a bit of a issue somewhere, whether there's been a fire or something like that, uh, I don't know. But let's just, here's a clean, dry paper towel here. Look at that. And it's not cigarette smoke. I'm going to keep these. Uh, just as if anyone needs proof. Um, but as I say, that that muck is all over the ceilings, all over the wall. In the bathroom, the same issue. Like someone's tried to clean it. Now, I don't know if the council should come in and start cleaning. Uh, normal cleaning. But I don't know, this is this is not normal cleaning. It could be hazardous, I haven't got a clue. Uh, I'm just getting another piece of uh, paper here. So. Let me see, I'll just show you what happens. Right, in the bathroom. Right, clean tissue again. Yeah. Let me just give this wall a quick wipe. And then look at that. That's not ordinary dust. And what I'm going to show you now is even worse. Well, they say, well, just wash it. Right? Let's pick a spot here. Right? Let's say there. Now look what happens when I try to wash it. Goes black. Try to wipe it off. No, so that's stained like that. So basically, I can't, I can't do nothing with this flat at the moment. I can't paint it. If I put light coloured paint on, this black residue is going to end up in the paint, and it's just going to be a complete mess. Uh, so, I think this needs professionally cleaning. Uh, I say I'm keeping these. 
I've got some bags here just so that if anyone needs proof of what the dust could be I've got evidence, well evidence you know what I mean so I can't do nothing nothing at all I was hoping to spend a couple of days on this room get it all nice and all that but I can't, I can't do it I'd need a mask and proper clean and stuff, probably industrial clean and stuff. Uh, so anyway, I'll have to pass this on to whoever and let them have a look at it. But I can't manage this cleaning job. Just can't do it. Right, that's all for now. If I need to, I'll do an uptake video. Right, you've seen the beginning of the video, you've seen what I had to work with. It's been hard, been very hard, because I've done it all, all by myself, all on my lonesome. Anyway, we're in the hall now, just shut this door. Right, so this is the small hallway when you come in. Uh, as I say, every wall, every ceiling, of paintwork, doors, everything had this fine, horrible dust on. So I had to clean everything, dry clean and all with a dry cloth. If I used a wet one, it went black. So I had to brush dust down and then hoover it up and wipe it down and good. And then after that, I had to sugar soap all the paintwork, get that clean. Uh, so anyway, I basically finished. There's nothing in the hall there. As I say, I've got to get fittings. I've got to get a, a uh, hanger for up here, coat hanger behind the, the door next to the front door. Uh, bathroom. I remember the big stain on the bathroom wall? Well, it took me ages, but I got rid of it. That's where that big stain was. Got to get a cabinet for there, a mirrored cabinet and all that, so I'll have a shave. <laughs> uh, cleaned all the shower, the lot, the whole lot has been cleaned. Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, everything, every wall you see it has had three coats of paint. And the ceiling, the ceiling's the same, three coats of paint. Let's uh, say the woodwork, the pipework, they all being painted. So in here, I've got to get all the bits and bobs, you know, the toilet roll holder and cabinet and, you know, all that stuff. Got to repair that down there. Uh, so that's it, that's the bathroom. Turn the lights off in there now. Bathroom, back into the hall. Uh, I'll show you the bedroom, but don't don't look too closely because it's the paint room at the moment. The amount of bloody paint I've used in here is ridiculous. So this is not finished. It's painted and all that, but there's no furniture in except for the bed and an old wardrobe for now. Right, so but it's full of paint at the moment. Right. Three coats on that wall and all, believe it or not. Three coats on the ceiling. That's everywhere, just everywhere. There. Look, <laughs> there's all me paint and everything. Shows you how much I've used. So I need some, obviously, furniture in here and all that. Right, so the only room that's really finished at the moment, but most in, is the living room. And can you remember that? That big stain on the ceiling. Right, let's have a look. It's the living room now. I hope you can remember the way it was. <laughs> uh, that big stain I'll show you now was up. Got to put that clock up. Yeah. That big stain was there on the ceiling. And round the ceiling rows was the big stain. Uh, well, I say, everything's three coated. These, I've been working on a budget and all. These paintings here, they're just. Uh, I think got the three blank canvases for £6.50, just over £6.50. And then I use the same paint I've used in the room uh, to, you know, pull everything together, match it all in. Uh, and as you see, this rug's got squares on, black and grey and silver and all that. Same with the settee, black, uh, sorry, grey, silver. 
Uh, that's a throw over. I've just put on on there because I liked it. And these were all flat packs that I've had to put together. Nest of tables. One's there. One's over there at the radio one. And one, the small ones in the bedroom, just as a, a bedside cabinet. And I'll put me, you know, stuff on and all that. And I got that. Lynn likes that. Don't know if you can see that. Might be able to see it. It's not showing up on the video. But it's a light. But I'll tell you what, I'll turn it off. You'll be able to see it better then. Yeah. And that's about it. Uh, you know it's a bed. Uh, not a bed, sir. Open plan. Nice. Here they are, look. Here's my own work with the nets and the pole that ev oh, I have to do everything, every single thing. Uh, so I made up them patents, you know, cheap, <laughs> cheap but cheerful as they say. And uh, the kitchen, back it, it's only tiny but it, it'll do for me and Lim when the time's right. And there's the back kitchen here. I put a lighter grey in here. Let's put that light on a bit, eh? Well, maybe not, since the light's made it bloody worse. Well, I've tried to colour coordinate everything. A uh, little table, so I've got somewhere to sit and have something to eat and breakfast or whatever. Uh, it's all electric, this flat. Well, it's not all electric, gas centre even, but you've got to have electric cooker, which I didn't want, but it'll do for now. And uh, that's about it. Uh, Need a blind for that window. Uh, and as I say, that it's been bloody hard work, I tell you. And I've done everything on my own, everything. Uh, no one else has lifted a, you know, a paintbrush or anything. So, but I don't mind because I wanted my. Well, what do you call it? I wanted my impression on on the flat. I didn't want. Other people saying, "Oh, that I think that could be better. I think this could be." You know what I mean? What you get when people pretend to help you? They just want to, you know, decorate the flat for you. But so that's it. It's it's all done. Just bits and pieces to finish off. So I'll be out detecting soon. And for them who are wondering, no, I haven't split off from the wife or anything like that. I wouldn't have that there, would I? Uh, what it is, just a quick little thingy on it. Since I was 18 and Lim was 17, we've been married. We had kids, brought them up. And as you know, if you've had kids, you never get rid of them. Never. And it's always Dennis being the grandkids and all that. We've never had time on our own. We were, we were basically kids when we got married, so... And then when we did have time on our own, we were there a couple of years on our own, in our own. And the father-in-law passed away, we had to move in with the mother-in-law to look after her. And that was six years ago. So we're in her house, the house goes to Lim when she's, you know, pops away, like so, so. And we decided, no, we're not staying in this big house. Uh, we can't afford to maintain it, you know, maintenance and all that. So this is uh, our plan A. So sell the house, sort the lads out, grandkids and all that. And we'll have our last few years, hopefully, to think about ourselves, do things for ourselves. And it sounds selfish, but it's not. I tell you, it's not. We've, uh, well, I think we've done our fair, fair whack of looking after other people, so. Anyway, I'm rabbiting on. Don't want to bore you too much. So, I'm off, and uh, I'll catch you next time. And hopefully next time, I'll be bloody detecting. Okay. Take care, everyone. Take care.